Okay, in this session we're going to actually cover uh, a useful tool for Macs and Windows called FileZilla. Uh, FileZilla is a nice application that's graphical to use to connect to your Zorcon Complete PPX. Um, I personally use WinSCP, but this FileZilla is available for Windows or Mac users. And so we're going to cover it for those of you that have Mac users. So go ahead and download the, um, the FileZilla client, install it on your machine. Uh, I already have it installed here on this Windows PC, and the Mac version is exactly the same. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and start up the program here for you. Um, you're going to see that actually it starts up by connecting to your your local PC uh, on the left hand side the remote site is going to be the system you connect to I'm going to go ahead and actually type in a IP address of my PBX that's local uh, using the username and password and port 22 is the SSH port that's actually going to use secure FTP to connect so I just click on the quick connect button um, if you want, you can actually save those connections under what's called the site manager right here. Uh, but I have actually no sites saved in this. We're just going to go through the quick, quick steps to connect. So as you can see here on my right, I have my remote site now. Uh, it actually connects by default to the um, to the root users folder. Uh, so if I go up one to the root of the direct uh, of the drive. You can see now that the directory structure looks similar. You see your bin folder, your dev, your etc, uh, etc. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Etsy. And now you're going to see that it shows me the directory structure up here. But I see file names and also directories down here. So I can click on asterisk, which is another directory. And now I can see in this um, view down here at the bottom, it actually shows me symbolic links and I know these are links because of the permissions here start with an L okay whereas this one here starts with a D so those are actually directories if I scroll down a little bit I'll get to some of the files that are actually in here and one of those files we've seen before is Chandotty now if I double click on Chandotty the default action is for it to download that file to whatever folder that I have over here but I'm not going to actually double click on it I want to right click on it instead go to view edit and now I'm actually going to open up that file in WordPad uh, for Macs I'm sure there's another word program or word type program editor that will do that for you uh, but in Windows it's WordPad so I open up WordPad or it did and then you can see that I could actually edit the file here uh, make changes uh, we've done ch this same change to this file many times so just going to make the same change again go ahead and save the change close the file and now it's going to actually prompt me and tell me that I have a file that has been changed so I say yes I want to finish editing delete the local file and this is going to copy that uh, newly saved file back to the server so there we go I click on yes uh, if you saw down here it went by really fast but it did show you that that file was recopied back to the server so um, good tool this uh, FileZilla uh, another useful piece that it that it shows you is besides the permissions which you can see here uh, and the owner and group you can also show uh, attributes or file permissions and you can change those file permissions if I want to make this chan.e.com file executable which I wouldn't want to keep it that way but if I wanted to I could actually just check these checkboxes and now you see that it actually changed the octet uh, of the value of the uh, of the file attributes to 775. So I'm going to go ahead and change it back to 644. Whoops. Which is right there. Excuse me, 664. So uh, these owner permissions are actually because you see the owner is asterisk and the group is asterisk. That asterisk can read and write to this file, but everyone else can only read it. So uh, I'm going to help. Go ahead and open hit okay there and that is it for this session thanks for watching